Hi, uh, my name is Trevor, and I practice speaking a foreign language for a hundred days. I decided to learn Polish as I have great interest in the country, and I wanted to be able to speak my girlfriend's first language. And also, the language is pretty beautiful. So, let's get started. I wanted to learn a language as naturally as possible, so I decided to read and listen. The best things for this is to read books, websites, or also watch Netflix. One method I used was a website called Link, and it allowed me to read my target language and click on words that I didn't know to find out the translations. There's a bunch of different ways to do this, and one of those is to go to the explore page and pick out different articles and stories that you want to read, or even import captions from Netflix directly from Link, or import news articles or blogs directly into Link as well. And going back to watching Netflix, this is a great way to listen to how Polish is spoken in normal situations. And I didn't use English captions. Instead, I used Polish captions. I used the Reverso extension on Chrome to easily hover over a word for it to be paused and then directly translated. This allowed me to be more immersed in the language. I decided to also use italki, which is a website that has tutors in your target language that allows you to be taught in a language in the comfort of your own home. I decided this would be the best thing to be taught grammar and have a structured lesson. And this is the teacher. I picked Jan. He's great. Next, I needed a friend. I scanned the internet for an app that would allow me to meet a person who is a native in my target language that has interest learning my native language. That's when Hello Talk came into play. This is a great app for people trying to speak to natives of the language they're interested in. And this is David. He was the only person I met that was actually serious about learning a language. This guy is also going to learn a new language every year, and this year it's English. And also, he's my new friend. So I decided to have italki lessons around once a week. Occasionally, this would be only once every two to three weeks, as, you know, depending on my own personal situations going on. Then, during the week, I would use Link once a day, along with talking to David. David and I would use his textbook every other day to go over vocab, and he would make me translate a sentence directly from English to Polish. Then, the next day, we would just have an hour-long conversation, 30 minutes in Polish and 30 minutes in English. Then, after some time, I decided to fly to Poland after months of being in quarantine, and I wanted to see my girlfriend for Christmas. After being in Poland, I was able to even study less and enjoy listening and being immersed in the language, and I felt like I was learning more than ever. I also went to a bookstore and found these really cool books. They have Polish on one side and the English translation on the other. And it's really cool because you can see words that you know in a certain context, but mean something entirely different in another context. I also ordered flashcards, which I know aren't for everyone, but they were definitely beneficial for me. I think it's important to understand that there isn't a straight road to learning a language. Instead, it's important to try out whatever method works for you, and then to stick with those methods and keep it consistent and not to change them. I also think it's super important to have fun. If your method isn't fun or it's boring, you're going to lose motivation. And I just want to thank those who helped me along the way, Adriana for inspiring me, Jan for making me realize how to learn a language, and David for being there for me every single day, helping me with so many different things, and just being a great friend. Thank you guys so much.